Hello everyone, welcome to Alice and Anna, my name is Alice and today we are going to talk about uh, an end pad food dispenser and a water fountain. Let's go! So NPED approached me and they told me that they would like to send uh, the food dispenser and a water fountain for me uh, just to try them out so I can give my honest review. This is not an advertisement and nobody asked me to say anything in particular so I'm just going to share my honest opinion and experience with having those two amazing technological advances uh, in my apartment. <laughs> so I got the items about a month ago. Um, which is really nice because I had time um, for Michael to get used to them. So first of all, let's talk about the food dispenser. So some basic info, basically it's an automatic food dispenser, it has a clock on it um, and you have four feeding times I guess that you can set, uh, up to four, it could be one if you want, it could be two, three or four, all four of them. And what you do is basically it's kind of like an alarm clock and uh, the dispenser sets like a portion um, of food at a specific time, automatically. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Uh, you can set multiple portions. So the feeding amount per one serving is about 10 grams. The maximum amount of servings per one feeding is 39 servings, which is a lot, I, I cannot count. I usually set two servings in the morning um, and then during the day I kind of like don't really have one so the second one I don't use then I use the third one which is set for about like 4 p.m. which is one serving and then I have dinner which is um, another serving around 7 p.m. I think it's really nice and useful we were thinking of getting one for a long time before actually getting this one because every night Michael eats all of his food and then in the morning he demands attention the moment he hears that any of our beds is like creaking he would be outside of the door meowing to get his food ever since i started using this this is not a problem anymore he still demands my attention but just for cuddles he doesn't want me to get out of my bed which is so nice sometimes so in the mornings, it's I don't really have to feed him anymore, and we can just like spend time together. As well as that, uh, I am a student, <laughs> and I also work, and sometimes I do sleep in, and I realize, oh, I have to leave right now. So I kind of just like get out of my bed, put makeup on, and I have to leave. And before, I'd be like, oh, like I, I still haven't fed Michael. So I would have to spend this time like feeding him. And I know it takes just a couple of seconds, but it's just annoying because if you're already late and you have to do that, it's really frustrating. But with the feeder, I don't have to worry about that anymore because I know that he always has food. If I forgot to feed him, if something is happening, it doesn't matter because he's always gonna be eating like he is eating right now. <laughs> Another fun thing, you can set a voice recording with each feeding. So for example, hi Michael, come eat, or something like that, which is really, really cute um, because that way the pet knows that his food is there, basically. I really like this feature in theory. The thing is though, that Michael has really great hearing. So when the machine kind of like wires and dispenses food, it does this kind of like, sound it's very quiet but he hears it so he knows that his food is there and I decided not to really use it because I would just get completely creeped out because I completely forgot that I set it on and I was home alone and it was like I don't know it was all kind of darkish I was alone and I was kind of scared of being alone and then out of nowhere I heard my voice from the kitchen and I thought that this was it the rise of the doppelgangers and clones and stuff like that I was terrified <laughs> so I decided not to use it and it's just overall a really nice feature in case like you know you're leaving your pet with somebody else and they're kind of like taking care of them and having your voice I think it's just really fun and obviously you can manually dispense food that's pretty easy you just hold a button for like two three seconds and it dispenses like one serving um, which is you know maybe if you feel like he's extra hungry that day or something you could use that or if you don't want to use any like alarm clocks and you still want to feed your cat kind of like manually you can do that as well 
um, I do that sometimes, not gonna lie. To operate the whole, you know, remote, I guess, is... I was kind of scared when I unpacked it, I was intimidated, and I thought that it was gonna be really hard. It wasn't hard. It took me two seconds to understand how everything works. I have like four options to set the time and it automatically like dispenses sizes and stuff. Uh, I'll show you how to do it manually though. So manual, it's just you press the manual button. And it plays my recording as well. I said it so like every time he eats or whatever, I can just you know play it. <laughs> yeah, I'll remove the snap button. You get it, you get it. The whole thing is really, really easy to take apart, which is so nice because um, I love to be able to clean his bowls like at least once a week. Overall, I would say that it's really worth getting it because it's the materials are great, the value is pretty great as well. The ca like it just saves time as well if you're working and busy and you're studying and stuff it's i think it's really helpful if you're differently abled as well that's also really really helpful the thing about this product is that it's not essential like before that i was fine now that i have it i'm great because <laughs> i love not being scared oh did i feed michael today oh did i did, does he have food you know i love not being scared of that because i know that my alarm is set and everything is set and i know that whatever happens he's always gonna have food and even if you know i decide to stay over and have a sleepover at somebody else's place at my friend's place you know i don't have the pressure of getting up back home in the morning to feed him because i know that even if i'm gone for a full night and I come back home in like 2 p.m. 3 p.m. That's completely fine because he has food and that's really nice having that piece So yeah, if you're thinking about getting one then you should get one That's what I'm gonna say if you're fine right now and you don't want to kind of like spend your money That's okay as well, but I do recommend it. I think I'm gonna get this product for my cat back home in Russia. So yeah, thank you so much and Pet for sending it to me. I'm really, really happy with the product. The second product that I want to talk to you about is a water fountain. All right, hello everyone. I'm sorry about my appearance, but my water fountain just came in. And I just want to show you how to set it up, I guess, because I just figured it out and I feel like, you know, a genius. It comes in a lot of little bags. Some of them are labeled which is super useful uh, and some of them aren't but it's okay because it kind of like makes sense basically first thing you need to do you take out this thing it's called the water filter and you take it out and you wash it and then it says to soak it up which is what I'm doing right now it looks like this it's in water so this is the top part of your pet fountain uh, first thing you do you take this detail it looks like this and you attach it to the bottom I think like the filter is supposed to go in there, but I still it wasn't like 15 minutes since I started soaking it up So I'm gonna let it sit and I just want to see how it looks like in general And then you take your faucet thingy and there's like a little indication you see like right here And there's one at the very top so you know it's supposed to go right over there So it looks like this and then there's this detail which is called it's called the water pump I thought it was a charger at first <laughs> uh, and basically there's like you know you can kind of I don't think you can see it on video but there's a little square that shows you exactly where to put it and because the thing is transparent I literally just like you know find a place and it has the bubble so I just press and there we go it's stuck min and max so I'm just gonna fill it up with some more okay so it's like this so basically this wire comes out and you're looking for this part of the top um oh my god i can't take it out basically on the top part this is the line right? you need to look for the arrow and it should align so you know your wire can breathe i guess okay let's plug it in all right i think i'm ready for him to try it out let me just move it over here oh my god it looks so cute and it's transparent all right and let me plug it in 
All right, we're ready. Oh my God. But you're so modern now. You drink better than we do now. Oh no, don't drink. I did not expect it to be a water fountain. I thought it was gonna be like a little, I don't know, water ball. I'm I'm not sure how it was gonna work actually now that I think about it. First of all, it looks pretty cool. I love transparent things, so obviously I'm really loving the look of it. Second of all, the fountain as well. I feel like it's just so badass to be like, yeah, my cat has his own water fountain. Yeah. The benefits of a water fountain for cats is that if they don't drink clear water, uh, their kidneys get kind of like infected and it's a very, very common disease amongst cats. I like changing his water every day. The water fountain is basically the same thing as a food dispenser for me now because it has a lot of water in it and I don't need to worry about him not having clear water ever. It's quite a lot of water that fits into the fountain. It lasts I'm gonna say for about four days. Right now, because it's really, really hot, so I guess like it evaporates within seconds. Assembly was intimidating as well. I was very scared, but it was really, really, really easy. This is where I'm glad that I had a whole month for him to adjust to it, because he wasn't using it. He was terrified of it. He would eat from his food dispenser, it took him some time to get used to that as well, but when he got, he was eating from his food dispenser, but then he would not drink the water, and I was really worried. So what I started doing is that I left both of his original bowls that he would eat from, and I left them right next to the food dispenser and to the water fountain, so he had kind of like options of where to eat from and where to drink from. It's also hard to catch him drink water. He always eats, but he doesn't really drink that much. Like, he does, but I just never see it, even with his normal pool. So when I was able to catch him drinking from the water fountain for the first time, that actually happened about like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, I was so finally happy to see it because I wasn't worried anymore that maybe he doesn't like it or he's scared of it or he doesn't drink water because he drank from it and I was really, really happy. <laughs> yes, my baby, good job! Yeah. Oh, I'm so proud of you, baby. Yeah, so now I still keep the balls, but it's just for his comfort. I think like next time I'm gonna clean the house, I'm probably gonna get rid of them because he's now officially transitioned. So is it worth getting a water fountain? I think it's worth it. Well, it really depends. It's kind of like a wild card in my opinion because every cat is different. I've seen videos of cats drinking from that fountain with joy, you know, and they would just drink it like straight from the stream and be like, eh, you know. Um, but I've also, I know my cat back home, uh, Tony, and I know that he wouldn't be, like, he would be 10 meters away from that thing. He would be avoiding it religiously and that would not work for him whatsoever. With Michael, I didn't know what to expect and I was kind of like coming to terms that he doesn't drink from it. He does drink from it now, which is fantastic. The benefits of having clear water for your cat at all times throughout the day and not having to change it every morning, really worth it. <laughs> it's really, really worth it and it's really cool. I don't know what else to say. I think if you're thinking about it again and if you know that your cat is probably gonna enjoy it, then get it. If you're okay with the way your cat drinks water now and you're okay with changing it every day and you have time for that and you also think that your cat is really shy and he's not gonna love it, then she, he, whatever, not gonna love it, then probably not get it. I was also worried that it was gonna be really loud, but let me turn it on right now because I turned it off um, and you guys can hear just how loud the stream is. I don't know, I think it's really calming. I don't even notice it anymore. I mean, now I do because like I'm sitting right in front of it, but when I'm watching TV, I legitimately forget that it's there. Both of these do require electricity and they do have a USB kind of like plug, um, which is really nice because we have an extension cord that's like the USB, so we just 
plug them in there and they're both just standing. My cat loves it, I love it, um, it's made with really great materials, it's very well worth it, very low maintenance, I recommend everyone to buy it. And this is just my honest, pure honest opinion. I would think about it, obviously, like any patches, and I would think about your cat, whether your cat needs it and whether he would accept the technology, I guess. And if you think that the answer is yes, I'd recommend it. <laughs> Thank you to NPET so, so, so much for sending those to us. I didn't even realize how amazing these products are and I'm very, very, very happy with it. And I'm sure Michael is happy too, right baby? Right baby? So yes, I'm sure that Michael is happy with those products as well because now he doesn't need to worry about his food right baby yeah that was my review if you have any questions i feel like a pro now because like i'm so good at like assembling disassembling cleaning it and everything so if you have any questions about how to use the product please leave a comment i would love to respond so yeah that is all i have to say thank you and pet once more i'm very very happy and i'll see you guys next week. Bye! Ciao!